there needs to be a coalition of people, especially in the development sector and the humanitarian sector, who don't tend to work together with the human rights sector, um, how they can be involved and how their expertise, and it's very clear that there's lots of expertise that those of us in the freedom of religion or belief world need to hear and need to practically work through with and learn from their experience, and that this is a really important start to that discussion. So hearing from, I think, some of the, the key people like Peter in, from Nigeria today and the, the real, the practical voice of what works in that context, that's what we and governments and large institutions need to be listening to, but on a really big scale for there to be impact where it's needed. The main takeaway for me is the fact that it's not really possible to go in with just a straightforward development agenda. There are so many different interactions with security policy, with human rights, with justice and peace. Uh, it's not really possible to just take a very unilateral approach to it. So um, I think it's important as development organisations and as bonds to really be aware of how our policy issues relate to other policy issues and for all of that to be threaded through with the primarily by the strategies of local civil society organisations who know the context, who know the communities and know the appropriate response and, and how, to, how to lead. I think today's event is quite unique in the way it's been able to bring together so many different organisations under one roof and to raise and talk about this very important issue about religious freedom and how different communities as well as different countries are tackling it. I'm hopeful because of the people I met today. I'm hopeful for the Nigerians and the Arabs and the Indians and the Pakistanis and the Burmese. We're all coming together in this solid effort to work. So I am hopeful. It is challenging. And if it wasn't challenging, perhaps uh, it wouldn't be necessarily something that we need to be worried about. We wouldn't be put to action.